All right, today I'm gonna run you through how to set up the auto select profiles and how to pick your tips for uh, auto select and the horse lead. Uh, first thing, you know, you gotta go pick, pick your tips and install them. So this is a 4-2 auto select system. So that means I have four nozzle bodies here, two nozzle bodies right here. The uh, tips, I try to typically put the smallest tips on the two position and the bigger tips on the four position. In this case, I have a yellow in the back, a blue 03 twin fan in the back, a green one and a half in the front, and that front of that four position is empty. And then I have a blue 03 in the front and an orange 01 in the back. It's important uh, to take a picture so you know what numbers to put in here. So we'll go to our monitor, we'll hit the nozzles, we'll go to the wrench, and we have to tell the machine what tips are in what position. So this is the four position right here. This is the two position. So I look at my at my uh, picture here. I can see the green is right in the front top left corner. So I'm gonna hit that same one right here. Then I'm gonna hit where it says NA. I'm gonna go down and pick green. Down here, it's showing us the minimum pressure and the maximum pressure. So in this case, I don't really wanna go above you know, say, or sorry, below 20, let's say 25 PSI. And we probably don't want to go above, in this case, we'll say 40. Good. Now we'll do the same thing for the rest of the tips. Um, these outside squares around each box, that is the color of the airline that leads to that tip. So the next one we got to put in is the yellow tip. So this guy right here, it's going to be yellow. And then same thing, we'll go, you know, 25 to 40 PSI. Maybe 45, we'll go a bit higher. Same thing with this guy, we'll go to 45. Good. So right beside it, we had a green tip in this, or sorry, a blue tip in this position. Oops. Blue. Good. We have another blue tip right here. So you have to set the pressure for each one of these tips. This pressure is going to override whatever we set up in the profiles. So this is the maximum and the minimum pressure that each one of these tips can run at. Good. So now we have the common setting set up and it matches what we have down here. So next thing we're gonna do is tell the machine what tip we want to turn on first. In this case, it'll be profile number one, right? Which is our smallest tip, which is an 01 orange. So we're gonna turn on the orange, automatically goes to 25 to 45. We're gonna check auto, and then we're gonna turn this guy here to in this case, we're gonna do a 20 inch boom height. So it'll always run at 20. So that's our first profile. It says profile one up here at the top. Next thing we're gonna do is set up profile two. So the next biggest size is gonna be a green, which is a one and a half size. Oh, while we're on here, if we're on just a one position or the two position turned on by itself, what that means is this is, you know, 150 feet here, right? And this is one nozzle body in. So we gotta make sure if this guy is on by itself, like it is right now, we turn these guys on too. And what that means is you'll get a full 150 feet just when this side right here is on by itself. Good. Next one will be that green tip right there. We'll turn it to auto. We'll change our boom height to 20. So when we go through these profiles, it can actually change the boom height as you cycle between all the profiles. Next size will be an O2, which is yellow, which is that guy right there. Change our boom height to 20. Automatic, good. So the next size we need up will be a one and a half plus a one, which would give us a two and a half size. So we'll turn on our 01 orange and we will turn on our one and a half green. 
which would give us a two and a half size. Now we're looking for a three. So we'll go up one more and we'll turn on just the three. But in this case, I could pick a blue three, right? Or I wanna make sure I'm on 10 inch spacing. So I'll turn off this guy, turn those off. I'll turn on an 01 orange and I'll also turn on my 02 yellow. So a two plus a one would give us three. Now we're looking for three and a half, which would be a green one and a half plus a two yellow. Good, so now we're looking for a four, which would be orange plus blue is four. Now we want a four and a half, which would be our one and a half plus a three. Next one is five should be a three and a two. Now we want five and a half. Should be a one and a half plus a three, which would be a four and a half plus a one, which is five and a half. Now we're looking for six, which is three and three. Oops. That. Now we want six and a half, which is three plus three. Oh. So three plus a two plus a one and a half. So that would give us six and a half. Now we're looking for a seven, which would be three plus three and one. Now we're looking for seven and a half three plus three and one and a half. Now we want eight, so three, three and a two. And the last profile is profile 16. So that would just be you know, all of them on. Good. So if I want to switch to each one of my profiles, I can just top, tap that top box here and it scrolls through all the different profiles. Go back to my common setting. This button right here shows you the different profiles and the overlap. So it looks like I did one of them wrong here. Number seven is incorrect. Right? So let's go look at profile six and eight and see what I did wrong. So six is a two plus one and a half. So that's three and a half. And I dro drop down there to a two and a half. And then I went to a four and a half. So I should have found a four somewhere there, which would be a three plus a one. So if I turn this guy off, turn this guy on, I bet this looks a lot better now. Not bad. So now we have almost overlap between all of these profiles. The only one where we don't have some overlap would be between number one and number two. So we could increase the pressure now or decrease the pressure of number two. So we decrease number two or increase number one to make sure they all overlap. If they don't overlap, you won't be able to go into automatic mode. 
So when I try to go from manual to automatic, it's gonna say nozzle control configuration faulty. So I'm gonna go back to the wrench. I'm gonna go down to my common setting. So I know that first profile was just this tip on by itself, right? I know the second profile was this guy right here on by itself. So if I go to that 015 green and I say I lower this pressure down to say 15 on the low end. Let's go take a look at it now. Oh, still not quite there. It's almost there. So maybe this guy here, we have to increase the pressure. Maybe we go up to 50 PSI on him. Still not quite. Good, now we have lots of overlap there. So we should be able to go into auto. Good, so now it's in automatic mode. If I go back, to, and you can see the first profile is just that one orange nozzle turned on by itself. If I'm in manual, I can manually pick whichever nozzle I wanna spray. If I leave it like this, it'll be just one green nozzle spraying by itself. But we're gonna go back into auto. This button right here is auto select pro, which is the turn compensation. So if you want it to automatically change nozzles as you go through your turns, you would hit this button right here. So on the main page now, now you can see right here, you have all these boxes, your 16 different profiles. The little white triangle indicates which profile you're in, right? So it's gonna show you which nozzles are spraying. The green box is gonna show you what profile is active. This little A means it's in automatic and little turn signal means it's in turn compensation mode. As you're speeding up and slowing down, you're gonna see these green boxes go higher and lower. And also as you're making a turn, you may have your smaller profiles on and your bigger profiles on for the outside of your turn. Then as you slow down, you know, you'll have your green box go all the way to the inside and you'll see the nozzles all switch. When you get back down to profile one, you'll just have a triangle in this guy right here. Thanks for listening.